Оля Лукоя by Hans Christian Andersen. Thursday. I tell you what, Оля Лукоя said. Don't be afraid if I show you a little mouse. He held out a hand with a quaint little creature in it. It has come to ask you to a wedding. There are two little mice here who are to enter into the state of marriage this very night. They live under the floor of your mother's pantry, which is supposed to be the most charming quarters. How can I get through that little mouse hole in the floor? Hjalmar asked. Leave that to me, said Ole Lukoya. I'll make you small enough. Then he touched Hjalmar with his magic sprinkler. He immediately became shorter and shorter, until at last he was only as tall as your finger. Now you may borrow that tin soldier's uniform. I think it will be just fit you. And uniforms always look well when one is it at a party. Oh, don't they? said Hjalmar. Instantly he was dressed like the finest tin soldier. If you will be so kind as to sit in your mother's thimble, the mouse said, I shall consider it an honor to pull you along. Will you really go to all that trouble, young lady? Hjalmar cried. And in this fashion, off they drove to the mouse's wedding. First, they went down a long passage under the floorboards. It was just high enough for them to drive through in a thimble, and the whole passage was lighted with touchwood. Doesn't it smell delightful here? said the mouse. This whole road has been greased with bacon rinds, and there is nothing better than that. Now they came to the wedding hall. On the right stood all the little lady mice, whispering and giggling as if they were making fun of each other. On the left stood all the gentlemen mice, twirling their moustaches with their forepaws. The bridegroom and his bride stood in a hollow cheese ring in the center of the floor and kissed like mad in plain view of all the guests. But of course they were engaged and were to be married immediately. More and more guests kept crowding in. The mice were nearly trampling each other to death and the bridal couple had posted themselves in the doorway so that no one could come or leave. Like the passage, this whole hole had been greased with bacon rind. And that was the complete banquet. However, for the dessert, a pea was brought in, on which a little mouse of the family had bitten the name of the bridal couple. That is to say, the first letter of the name. This was a most unusual touch. All the mice said it was a charming wedding and that the conversation was perfect. And then Hjalmar drove home again. He had been in a very high society, for all that he had been obliged to make himself very small to fit in the teen soldier's uniform.